It's just about that time of year when motivation to get out of the door can really start to wane, but it is possible to beat winter, and here's how. commuter among your friends aren't you? When did you start? I probably started around about 15 years ago when I started in the cycle industry. Started with small miles and then got kind of addicted to you know getting more miles in and riding through all weathers. And do you ever look at the weather and go no nah, not today it's just really consistent? If you have the right equipment and the right clothing you, you can ride in any weathers and obviously the change in weather at the moment going from shorts to potentially needing some leg warmers and carrying those with you. You may not need them on the ride home, but you may need them on the ride in. So it's just making sure that you've got all that, all that stuff lined up, ready to go. I'm literally getting up, you know, getting ready and then leaving. No, you know, nothing to take me off that track sort of thing. It's a bit autopilot. And then I know that I'm, I leave at a certain time and I know how long it takes to get there and everything's as it should be. Yeah, and what about weatherproofing the bike? Well, for, for myself, it's it's all about you know make sure I've got the mud guards on because they're that's a lifesaver when it's raining. So to you know to not have the spray from the front or the back mm -hmm. and, and making sure. I mean, you will get wet eventually on the top, but keeping the lower part dry is is a, is a definite must. What about tyres? So tyres in the, in the in the winter, it's always best to get something that's got a bit more puncture protection. They won't be as light as maybe what you've ridden in the summer, since then that's going to help you avoid those those times where you might have to stop in the rain to change of change tube sort of thing. And when you've done that one time too many, it's just, you don't want to be back there, do you? You know, I've no, had days you where know. you can't even feel your hand, you've got to take your gloves off, right. it's just... And it always seems to be the back wheel. <laughs> which is more it than is. That. And I yeah, always yeah. used to be like, oh no, which is, oh, of course it's the back. It's yeah, standing yeah. here and back for a while. <laughs> I always carry a set of the sort of mechanic gloves. So useful. So, because if it's wet or dirty, you know, once your hands are covered, you're trying to get the tyre back on is a bit of a mission. So, uh, a pair of them on, and then you can obviously take them off and then put your normal gloves back on. Your hands aren't dirty. And that, that makes a that's a big thing. Like what essential tools would you generally carry? So, a couple of tyre levers and a multi-tool is enough for, for the commute. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and it's got a chain link on it and all the extra bits if you get really stuck that you might need to do when you're on the road. But, and what about change of clothes? You've, you've got your bags uh, equipped on the bike as well. So I'll either have uh, clothes at work to change into or I'll carry some extra stuff just in case of what I know the weather's going to be different on the way home. Especially when it gets dark, I might want to wear more high-vis or a, mm. you know, something a bit more uh, brighter than just the standard yellow. If I've got a darker jacket on, I'll wear a high-vis gilet just so I can be seen a bit more. What's the most versatile piece of kit? that you're on the spot now that you think you've got? Oh, for me, it's, it's always gloves. I suffer with my fingers a little bit, so um, everything else can, you know, you, your hands aren't moving as much as everything else, so I always, of course, make sure I've got a couple of sets of different gloves I use during the course of the winter to make sure I'm, they're waterproof and they keep me warm. What works for me might not work for you, and obviously yeah. the thicker the glove is, you can't, then you can't feel the shifters yeah, or feel. Balanced. So getting that, or you can wear thinner ones with liners, which is always yeah. a, a good option, and then you can take the liners out for the ride home if it's a little bit warmer, stuff like that. I always think something else that I never want to find myself in the position of is feeling like I just don't have the right lights or enough lights that I can be seen. It just for peace of mind more than anything. And can you talk me through your setup for that? Yeah, sure. So for, for the bike I, I use mainly in the winter, I've, I've got a dynamo setup but also run a set of rechargeable lights that can run on flashing. But with the USB ones now, even at work, you just plug them in or at home or overnight, or they, they literally take you know half the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're easy, uh, full range of different sizes, isn't there, sort of, uh, and different prices that just fit all budgets, sort of thing. Well, that's also the balance, isn't it? You know, depending on where your commute might take you, it could be quite varied and you want drivers to see you, but as you say, you need something to see yeah. with as yeah. well. 
Tell us a bit about route planning and you know, how much you know ahead of time where you're, where you're going to take yourself. So for me, there's two or three ways in, um, and depending on what the weather's like, we'll decide on, on which way I'm riding. Mm -hmm. If I know it's super windy along the coast, I may head straight out of Brighton uh, up to where I work, rather than, than battling the wind. If I, but on the way home, if I know the wind's with me, then I might choose to go that way, because it pushes, it pushes me along. Yeah, leaving enough time is key, in case you, you know you can't run anything on the way, or even if you're out early and the sunrise is, is really nice and really refreshing to, to know that you know, most people are in bed while you're, you're out cranking them. What's the biggest thing you'd say to motivate people that get towards winter and go, oh, I don't know if it's for me, I don't know if we can keep going through the colder months? It just keeps you fit in the fresh air. It's just, you know, if you leave the house and get into a vehicle, you, you're, not, you're not getting any fresh air. You're basically just walking to the car or to the train. When you get to work, I feel much more refreshed if I've ridden. Well, I might feel a little bit more tired, but once I'm working, I've showered, mm -hmm. it, it, you feel great for the day ahead. And you don't ever regret it, do you? Is that like a sort of moment, especially at this time of year, you might look out the window, it's a bit dark, and you think, oh, but the motivation and energy that you get, it, you never regret it. Oh, no, and obviously when you get to work, and you see to make sure if your mates have ridden the album, and it's like, oh, yeah. Just... <laughs> once you get going, you'll be, you'll be thinking, I've done the right thing here. You know you are. like we could do a bit of a good skill swap today because I ride a lot and I neglect stretching, conditioning off the bike, I'm rubbish at yoga so I need some help and advice. I find that if you just all you do is bendy stuff you don't end up very strong, you haven't got great cardio, all of that sort of stuff so I almost have the opposite of what you have <laughs> which is I'm a really bendy and good at yoga, not so good on the cardio so I always try and build that into to my stuff as well and I think if you're a cyclist you know you need things like strong hip flexes but then you also need that stretch as well so if all you have is one without the other then um, you kind of end up a bit imbalanced if you like. Do you think the perception on yoga is changing that it isn't just static being a tree for five yeah, minutes? I mean exactly <laughs> for me I'm like shouting it from the rooftops and have been for a really long time that it's just for everyone at an elite athlete level like it's a no-brainer like everyone's been doing this for you know quite a long time the real top of their game in whatever the sport, whether it's sort of golf, Tiger Woods or American football, Tom Brady, they are all there doing yoga, training mind and body and doing the right recovery so that they can do what they want for longer. I know you motivate a lot of people through your role. Um, what would you say to people that are getting to these slightly colder months and thinking, oh, I'm not really that motivated to go out? Oh, How would you G them up? It's not about the weather. <laughs> it's all about having the right gear, isn't it? It's mm. just, you know, there's nothing more that I love spending my money on now, unfortunately. <laughs> I think I've gotten old, but really good Gore-Tex jacket, waterproof clothing, that kind of stuff. Because then when you do get out and about, then you're not, you know, cold and wet and miserable, um, and you know what to put on when you're going to leave the house. So, how long have you been riding for? Well, I obviously everyone does it when they're a kid, don't they? And then I rode and I lived in London and sort of commuted to the office. But I really struggled because um, whenever I got to the office, I was covered in sweat and makeup down my face, my hair, bit of oil, all of that sort of stuff. It was quite aggressive. It was quite a cycle scene on the streets of London, and I wasn't quite there, so I kind of got intimidated out of it a little bit. Really? Yeah, it's a bit sad. But I think like with everything, you've just got to push through that uncomfortable phase as well. And the the more you do it, the more confident you get. Yeah. And I kind of regret not keeping that going, but I do envy the boys, you know. I know some guys and they're real like diehard cyclists and they'll cycle up from Brighton to London mm. and they are just walk into the office and just change their shirt, you know. Just, just quicker. Their hair just goes back. I'm like, <laughs> can you? <laughs> Depends on the hairstyle, yeah. It's such, it's such a thing. Shame head. <laughs> I mean, you just think about these things. What are the other things you feel like you've learned since you've got more into the cycling? Um, that it's not all ugly. 
<laughs> Some of the clothing and the helmets and stuff are getting a lot better. Um, I've got the really cool like matte taupe nutcase helmet, which I was like, oh, well, it's not all sort of fluorescent yellow and everything, like nice colours. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just think sometimes that's important as well, is not to sort of put on a load of gear and feel a bit ridiculous. What I love about kit now and the advancement in technology is you can get stuff that looks very slick, but it's got safety features on the back. So I've got so many things that might look like pretty black on the front or quite dull, and then they absolutely light up oh, in, wow. in the glare of a headlight. And I don't know if you've seen much of no. this, but it looks all very subtle until you're out on the road and it performs so well oh, and I think it combines that tech with you know the colour that you like yeah, yeah. but actually with reflective detailing. Do you think that you're going to continue to ride a lot over this winter? I hope so because I actually I do have a lot of the kit already like it's not necessarily like all the cycle gear but like I've got waterproof clothing, I've got Gore-Tex jacket, like I do think it's some of those basics that do 100% just prevent you from getting wet. So actually if you just pop on the right clothing, um, then you can go out whatever the weather, can't you? If I can now start to think more about going places, like if I need a few things from the shops, I can just jump on my bike now and all right, it might be 10 more minutes, but take a rucksack, you can get a good amount of food shopping in there for a few days and then cycle back again. So I think it's definitely changed my mindset around that, like really focusing on what do I not need to do in a car and what can I do on my bike. So tell me, what bike are you on at the moment? I have an e-bike at the moment, which I'm super excited about because um, I just feel like it can be quite intimidating to get your head around doing like a long ride. Um, but actually, if you know you've got that little boost of something in the tank, if you're getting a bit tired or if you're just trying to build up to something, I really think that's, that's helpful. I think they're brilliant. I think they're really versatile as well. And, and back to the yoga for a minute. Um, do you think that it's a way people can stay motivated for this time of year? A hundred percent. And actually, do you know what? The yoga is so important to keep up, almost more so than through the summer, because actually if you're having a long period of time when you're not cycling, or even if you're cycling in really cold weather, your muscles hate the cold. Because anything repetitive, anything that's going to go over and over and cycling, really sort of linear, one direction, you're not sort of working your posterior chain as much of the back part of your body. So it's just so important to just look after yourself, whether you're cycling or not. I know you're very well equipped on a bike ride, but I mean, this is impressive that you've produced a blanket, a down jacket for me. Yeah, I have those bike packing bags on my bike now. It's amazing what you can squeeze into them these days. It's, so, it's unbelievable, uh, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah. Well, it's, it's, you have to blow this one up a bit. It takes a while, <laughs> but it's worth it in the long, in the long run. Um, I've just, I mean, we've, we've booked the right weather, haven't we? You can just hear that rain. It's gone very wintry very quickly. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. right on cue for yeah. how to beat winter. Mm. Stay in a barn. <laughs> so if you don't have a barn and you don't have a massive blanket that we definitely yeah. didn't produce out of your back pocket, <laughs> um, what do you need, jokes aside, to, to get through this kind of weather? It's good to realise that sometimes you don't have to go out the door mm. uh, and you can do lots of other things, stretching, yoga, even just mending bikes. So that you, there's... <laughs> I don't trust myself with that. <laughs> So there's less reasons to not go out the next time. Mm. I think the hardest thing, well, the thing you need is motivation. And the hardest thing is to find it. Look at the weather, find a, a small two hour slot when it's not raining. Um, if you'd like doing intervals, do an intervals for two hours. Strangely, I do. Yeah, so... <laughs> like um, that person so, that likes an interval. <laughs> yeah, do that. That can do as much benefit as going out for six boring hours in the rain, getting miserable. <laughs> If you are bored, you don't even have to do road miles. You can, if you've got a gravel bike, go on your gravel bike, mix it up a little bit. Mm. I do that all the time, bit of road, bit of off road. There's all sorts of ways of making it a bit more interesting than doing the same old, same old loop. Uh, yeah, if you want to go out and, and get out on a specific time, just throw away your phone. 
I mean, at the <laughs> not literally, it, but, <laughs> but if we, we, it's these thousands of distractions. You just check your emails, just check your mm. WhatsApps or whatever the kids are doing now, your TikToks. Are you on the TikToks? No, I'm not on the no? TikTok. No. Do that more dance. I think the fact we've called it the TikTok the means we're definitely not on it. <laughs> are we still doing vines for their thing? I no. was never doing vines. Oh, no, okay. Uh, I've, I've got my head around a reel on Instagram. Oh, okay, well, oh, as far okay. as I've I'm got. still on MySpace. Uh, yeah, that's another distraction. So don't look at your phone for half an hour. Um, get out of the mm. door. And if you can find a friend to go for a ride with, do that. Because if you know there's somebody waiting for you, you will go out the door. Mm. You don't want to let them down. You don't want to be that person that goes, sorry. But we all know that all those thousands of times we've not really wanted to go out. As soon as you're out the door and you're around the first corner, it's mostly fine. You can just follow your nose. You can throw away your Garmin or whatever. Other, other computers are available. Uh, yeah. And uh, just get lost. Mm. And if you don't have to go too far from home, so if you do kind of lose your way a bit, you can find your way back quite easily. Um, and you, it's like being a kid again. It's like being a 14 really year old on your BMX and just exploring. Clothing is important. Um, but we've, all, we've all been caught out, haven't we? Wearing the one clothes. It is this time of year where you do go from just whacking on a pair of jersey, uh, jersey and a pair of yeah. shorts and it just quickly transitions and I think especially for newer right, I mean you've got years of experience, mm. I mean you're still very young, not that many years but some years <laughs> um, of experience and you do learn a lot about just getting over that hump of the season change yeah. and then just embracing it but I think for people that are newer you feel a bit overwhelmed with like right, well i don't know what leg warmers are or actually yeah. i don't have all this armory in the in the practicing wardrobe the good thing now is there's so much clothing available and it doesn't have really to is. be that expensive mm. there's lots of really good cheap kit and then when that wears out you can maybe go up to the next level and luckily now clothing is so good that it all packs away so I, have my little, much better. I have my little thing here oh, under got? the magic blanket <laughs> <laughs> uh, as if by magic little tiny waterproof jacket these are brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. Um, it's a shake dry. It costs an absolute fortune, uh, but it has saved my life so many times. Yeah, and if, if you do pack that, then it's much less likely to rain because you've got it. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. How it it's, works, your, it's, right? your, it's your talisman. <laughs> um, exactly. So you have one of those, or something like that. It doesn't have to be super duper, but something in your back pocket. Mm. Um, something that fits. Not might have to have buff, <laughs> little buff. Doesn't have to have Hello Kitty on it, but it helps. But, I mean, it does help. Um, that cheers me up no that end. That gives you watts as well. Oh, um, well, watts. <laughs> uh, so Lots that as well, that's like almost as good as wearing another layer. Yeah. Because it keeps your neck warm. So all stuff like that. Um, just, you know, be prepared like a proper Boy Scout. Tell me about your happy lenses. Ah, where are my happy lenses? These are a great <laughs> thing. Because you know, we've all got shades like you. If we think we look cool behind them. We've all got some. Uh, but those lenses there, hopeless in the winter because you can't see anything. Yeah, but they're so shiny. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see the tears. But yeah, get some, get some clearer lenses like that. These are slightly rose tinted. So everything looks better with rose tinted glasses. Mm. Um, and they, do, they are quite technical in that they boost contrast a bit and stuff like that. Oh, I like um, but you put them on and it's, you know, the world's a nicer place. <laughs> always, 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 always take out some little blinky lights. Yes. Really, really good one. advice. This one does lots of blinkies. Because you will be half an hour away from home. Mm -hmm. And then that's when you get a puncture. Mm -hmm. And you're like, ah, oh, I didn't bring lights, but I need lights just to get me home. Um, and there's a bazillion of these you can buy now for no money. Um, so good and so um, So and they fit in your, you know, I've got two in my back pocket. <laughs> Wait. I do end up with so much stuff in my pockets, I yeah. have to say. Do you um having a look? Have you got any like, oh it's here. You want these? It is. I was like, I'm sure that was on your bike. This this Joe. felt close to my bike. It's like a <laughs> it's like a bigger seat pack. So we've got these are brilliant, aren't they? These are brilliant. All this, all of this new, this is like a small bike packing bag, but all this mm. stuff is amazing. This is, because I've got tubeless tyres. Oh. We've all got tubeless tyres now, yeah? I actually haven't, which is why I thought it was a gas canister. This has got little pluggy bits oh. in it if you get a puncture. 
It's all gone a bit Blue Peter now, isn't it? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and this is a sign this, of someone This is my new favourite thing. You knew when you get, if you get a tyre gash, mm -hmm. and you have a little I do know. thing. This is a whole thing of, look at that, it's magic. The new five pound <laughs> notes work really well because they're made out of plastic. Mm. I mean, that's an expensive pair. Yeah. Uh, you can afford it though, love. Little. Uh, <laughs> just ask a fasting man. Uh, <laughs> Multi-tool with all the gubbins, spare chain links, some oh, glue. That is very sensible. But a lot of this also, you can help somebody else on the trail if they've snapped a chain. You can be and that so nice often person. You come across someone. You go, do you just... need a thing? You go, yes, I need a thing. Well, what do you need? And you've uh, got it all in him. Oh, sparing the tubes just in case. Of course. And also, you can give that to somebody that didn't bring an inch tube. So all of that You're fits in that thing. Helpful to and others. That, and that. That can stay on your bike. That's one less thing to faff about because that's always on your bike. That is a Mary Poppins bag right yeah, there. You have produced is. a lot of spares a out of that um, tiny yeah, bag. The rabbit couldn't come today because it was raining. <laughs> um, I'm just having a little look outside the barn. I mean, we are here to beat winter. Are we yeah. going to embrace it or nap in the barn? <laughs> I've got a very expensive jacket to wear, so let's go that's out. That's true. And I have, I have uh, come well equipped today yeah. as well, actually, jokes aside. So we have we actually got it. no excuses. <laughs> Oh, actually, I did have another question for yeah. you. Best excuses that you've ever heard for not getting out for a ride or excuses that you've made? Oh, I work freelance, so I've always got the I'm really busy in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your deadline's turned up. I got a phone call this morning. I can't do Very that. Very important phone yeah. call. Classic. <laughs> I'm like, Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've used a lot. I can't find my favourite sock. Um, that's very important <laughs> yeah you know and you can't have two different sock kinds yeah. so you know there's all Long tires, sorts of things that's a good one <laughs> especially in the winter yeah yeah but then you get it's okay you don't have to do it that's you, you it's, being, have to. it's being okay with not doing it but yeah. it's better if you do they have to come up with these elaborate excuses because <laughs> we all know the excuses you're like yeah no mm. yeah that's you get it. that text message from your friend yeah. you just know mm. there's no deadline it's raining <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know friends are like, yeah, he's lying. He's lying. Yeah. Are Let you going to go. go out in there? And that didn't well, do I think just as it's got heavier, it's yeah. a, a good chance yeah. to test our kit. Right so then. why not Let's go. practice what we preach? Can we take the blanket with us? <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is very technically uh, able. <laughs> I'll just, I'll, just pop that, I'll just pop it on my bike and let's go. <laughs> just pack that back down. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's been brilliant to garner some top motivational tips from Joe, Bryony and Rupert today and I hope everyone's got something they can take away from this video. If you liked it, give us a like and subscribe to the channel as it all really helps us out and well, we'll see you next time. I'm off for a brew.